Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. This is going to be another video of mine on how to do a quick and easy business success spell and with the sigils, okay, and make it your own. So, see how I made it my own. You can see it. So, I'm going to use that one. And, guys, it's just a green candle that I put my own labels on. So, um, you can have any green candle. A lot of people be like, if you don't have green and you can't find green, you always can use white. Okay? Because white is purity and all of the above. And the things that you would need in this video, I'm showing you on pictures. You're going to need Ganesh to remove obstacles. You're going to need Palo Santos to clear the room of all negativity. Pure house to keep everything pure. And protection. Okay? This is if you have a home-based business, so this one, would, that's why I'm using Pure House. If it's a business at a company, don't use Pure House. You can just use the Palo Santos and Ganesh. Um, you also could use Blessings Divine to bless it. And you also could use, if you feel there's negativity. I keep getting all these emails about you guys feeling negativity and how to take negative away from my family, how to how to take negative away from my business, and I have a lot of videos on that. On that. So I'ma sneak that in there too. If you watch till the end, I guess I can put that in there for you guys again. Jealousy incense is always good to light in your business once, once a week, maybe even twice a week, because you never know who's causing, trying to cause hate, jealousy, envy, all of the above, okay? But this business, um, this quick business spell, success spell is a, a ritual that is a good ritual because you have rituals that is of witches and all of the above. No, these are not that kind of rituals. This is just a business success sigil ritual. Spell, yes, they put that on there. But, I mean, again, it's a good ritual, okay? So, you would need this one. And you can find your own and make it your own and put your own labels again. You would need open a road opener. And you would need a reversible. So, and if you want to give it an extra kick, you can also use... This rainbow candle is the strongest candle in all candles, okay, with the seven colors. Any seven color rainbow candle is the strongest. So if, let's say, if you were going to use open road, seven color open road is the strongest. Me personally, I like the, the orange and the green open road. Um, I like to use that one and say the prayer at the back of the prayer. Now, with this one, it's depending on what you want to do. If you want business success just to have your business booming, then, and open up your road for your business, you switch it around, put the open road in the front, and you put the business one over here, okay? So we all know what we're using. We're using the foil pan filled with water. You're gonna use your glass of water that you clean out every um, time you're done with your candles. Soap it up, clean it out. Slice two pieces of lemon or maybe, or just one. And sea salt inside the glass. Okay. Before you light your candles, you're going to cleanse it with any kind of cleanser, however the cleansing, uncrossing, psychic cleanse. You know, a lot of people like to use a lot of different things. 
you know, and you spray inside the candles and you're going to clean it out with a paper towel. And you always want to make sure your wick, I don't like this open road one. I'm not going to use it because I don't like it. But see how that wick is like that? That's, you, it'll mess your candle up. You need your wick to be in the middle. And so this open road candle, I do not like. But anyway, let's go continue on with the video. So I want to say once you light your candles, you do your, you do your incense first, you light your candles, and then there it goes. It goes for seven days. You watch your candles, make sure they don't have black around. And don't forget, you have to have a good business oil to go in there, a good business oil to go in there. I like to use business or business oil. I also like to use um, an open road oil. I like to use a, a, um, a debt free oil. It depends on what oils you want to use. You know, I have my, my own that I use and you have to, you know, just find the ones that work for you because that's what the ones that connect with your body and connect with your aura. Those is what that's the best thing to have in your candles. OK, so now if you want to switch this up and you want to make this, if you want to make this make this a candle to just increase sales, that's all you want to do. You can take out the reversible and you can make yourself a increasing sales or increase income and what you have to do is getting ready to show you guys this quick way you're going to put some glue right here on here This is a sigil. And you put the glue on there. And then what you're gonna do is you're going to, you're making this candle your own. So you're going to stick it on here. Good glue. And there you go. You just made yourself an increasing sales candle. You want to you want to make it double, triple more better. We can add some money on it. I'm gonna add some money on it, guys. add some money on it. I'm going to add this bill on there. Okay. And you find where you want to add it at. You want to add it at the bottom. You can add it at the bottom. I just don't want to put it over. Yeah, you just don't want to put it over the what's the name, but you can just put it on the bottom. There you have it. Income increase. Okay. And you write, you can also write your name and your business on it if that's what you want to do. I don't. But then you have your your ritual. Your open open road for business success and increased income and there you go done voila they're so super super easy you like and you watch it see how it does you might need to do it three times in a row you know um 
If you don't have to do it three times, always do candle work three times in a row though. That's the number one way to get the best, best, best outcome. This works. You guys know I am the candle queen. Thanks for tuning in. I did say I was gonna throw in, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna still do it. I'm gonna throw in a protection. So let's do a protection. A bonus, a bonus at the end of the video I said I was going to do. So let's say that you feel like something is going on. Somebody is causing your family any kind of harm. You're going to do a run devil run at the beginning. Run devil one, run. Okay. Then you're going to do against all. Anybody causing you your, any harm. A Holy Spirit, a seven times seven against harm. Contradonius for evil. You add that one in. Then, if you really feel like somebody put something on you, we're going to add in the spell breaker. Okay? The spell breaker. Add that right in. Don't forget, you gotta have your sea salt, lemon. And you can use any sea salt. I use this brand. I love this brand, but you can use any sea salt you want, any lemon you want. If you wanna give, don't forget that you have to cleanse your candle work. You have to cleanse, always cleanse, okay? All the candles before you do it. Then, you add that in and you have your protection. Remove anything that anybody has put on. You can read Psalms 91, Psalms 23rd to make it more, you know, um, if you just want to stronger, I would read Psalms 23 or 91 period if anytime you're doing any spell remover because you want to call on God to remove any harm, to have any negative spirit flee your house in the name of Jesus. You want to do it all of that going. You want to have that going all through your house. You also want to add the protection. Palo Santos and the blessings. Okay? This sets your intent. You can find all of these against harm. Same thing as this candle over here against harm. Against jealousy, contradonias. Seven times seven. All of that will work, guys, okay? I just threw that in so fast, and that is done. So like, subscribe, tell me what you think, tell me what you're trying to do, tell me what you need. I'm here for you guys, and see you next video.